Hey guys, um, just going to be doing a <coughs> just a bit of gameplay on Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, now I've got this on the Xbox. Um, I've got the original, just the original Xbox 360. Uh, the original, yeah, the original Xbox game. But my 360 plays it, so and only, it was only like two pound from game, so I thought I'd just buy it as a as a keepsake. To be fair, I think um, one of my favourite Grand Theft Autos out of the trilogy, uh, mainly because of the large, you know, what you can do on it. To be fair, there's a lot of a lot more variety from Vice City and GTA 3. Um, I.e. like the trains, uh, the lorries with the trailers, um, proper boats, just a lot, of, just a lot of things really. You know, the flying, the being able to buy your own property and stuff like that. I know you could do that on uh, Vice City, but can you do on GTA Three? Yeah, you can do it on GTA Three. Can you? Yeah, I think you can. Yeah, either way. Uh, I'm going to see if I can skip this. The game came out in 2005, I believe, uh, by Rockstar. It was released on the Xbox, the PS2, and the PC. I think it was released on the PSP. I think it was. I don't know. But yeah, this is me just having a little play. Uh, like I said, basically what happens on the start, obviously I've stopped the intro thing. Um... You play as a character called CJ, um, and basically what he is, is this fella here. And basically, I think you lived in Vice City or San Andreas. Oh, I've totally forgot how to play the game. And um, basically, uh, you get a call from the family, your mum's died, and then you come back here to find out a lot of shit's gone down. It's basically just trying to get... Grove Street, the uh, the um, hood that you come from, back to yourself and as you just hear, I don't know if the phone picks it up. Like I say, I record on my Samsung Galaxy S2 and 720HD. I haven't got a PVR or a recorder or anything like that, so this will have to do. And it's not too bad on the quality wise, so. I just see if I can do it like this, then I might as well just not spend out a hundred and something pound on a PVR and just do it like this, I suppose. But anyway, getting away from the game. It's an 18, there's a lot of swearing, some sexual antics, obviously with the prostitutes and all that you can still get. Um, but it's just it's just good, like the casino, you could go to the casino uh, on the third island. Obviously I've just started the game up, so I'm only going to be playing around on the first island, to be fair. Um, but... I'm just going to skip this. Obviously the game's like, you know, seven years old now, so obviously there's no hype about it or anything. I just thought I'd do it as it's a bit of a classic. Uh, one of my faves, to be fair, of any sort of game. Uh, I believe it or not, this fucking mission is so... I used to find it quite hard, but... Seems like it's alright now, I think. I think these fuckers start speeding up in a bit. But yeah, and this is the family. Uh, sweets the fatty... Uh, oh, hang on a minute, they're shooting at me. I don't really know where I've got to go, but... Um, yeah, but this is it, really. Just a bit of... Played at them. Why are these fuckers in a voodoo and I've got to be on a push bike? I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Um, so, yeah, basically, 2005 the game came out. Uh, it consists of three islands, um, and well over a hundred missions. Uh, you go do like several missions for a lot of people. Um, I don't know really what to say about it. Like I'll give a proper review, but the game's so old, and I haven't really played it for such a long like, years. To be fair, um, but I mean, it's still a really good retro game to play. Uh, I would do a Vice City one, but my Vice City, for some reason, my PS2 just doesn't want to play it. I don't know why, there's hardly any scratching on discs or anything, but... Yeah, I don't know why it's not not playing, but... I think I might get the disc just resurfaced 
like just to see if it actually does anything but I doubt it will because there's hardly any scratches on it so I don't know, I think PS2 could be a little bit wrong or something but um, yeah I'm going to shut up now and just watch a bit of uh, Grand Theft Auto if you like remember to rate, comment and subscribe this video when you've finished watching if you're still watching uh, I'm really really bad at comment like commentary so you have to forgive me but anyway here you go I knew he'd actually died there, so just goes to show how shit I am on the game. Is that what you get? This is what happens when you die. Oh, thought I would have killed him, but. But yeah, it's good. I like it. I'm going to carry on talking because I'm getting pretty bored of just not talking in the video. Uh, like I said, I got it on the 360. This is what the map looks like. Obviously, these blue bits will go once you've actually ventured onto them, but... How do I zoom out? Uh -huh. Oh, is that it? Yeah, there you go. But as you can see, this is the first island here, uh, here, and then, believe it or not, this bit, little bit of river there separates the whole lot. This is one huge island, uh, and this is one huge island, oh, it's one little island there, and then a huge one there, so, um, believe it or not, this is like my favourite area all around here. I think it's where it's just a vast nothingness and uh, you could just do whatever you wanted to do. I'm not going to save it, but yeah, Lester Johnson's house. And basically it's just doing missions, it's just the same as any uh, other Grand Theft Auto. There's a mission there for Ryder. I don't... Oh. Oh. Um... Thought I'd do. Oh, yeah, also, as well, you see the fat stamp. So, I liked about this Grand Theft Auto, they made you like take care of your body and whatnot, and it's just, it's just really. I find a game that's more detailed a better game when you have games that just, you know, like Call of Duties nowadays. It's not really detailed, it's just the same graphics, um, just with different, like, different maps and different guns and perks and whatever, like Call of. The Grand Theft Autos are just so detailed, and I think this is what just makes the game so good to play. I think Call of Duties have become a bit of a like a fake must-have now. To be fair, it's, I just don't. I don't. I think the games are overrated. But um, if I can remember how to do it, I'm gonna see if I can actually fuck how to do it. How the fucking hell do I get there? I'm gonna try and um, get the fuck out of the way. I'll try and get on a plane for the video. Obviously, with the, this, you needed to have a license and whatnot to play with the planes, but you don't necessarily need to have it. I found a way that you can just get the fuck up on there. This is where I could potentially die. I didn't realise this. Played. Okay then. Fucking spaz. Oh wow. Oh wow, what is this fella doing? What? 
yeah, as you can see there, it's popping up with a. Uh, I need like a foot, like a better high skill and whatever. So, all right then. I don't know if anyone saw that. He actually landed and then just died for some reason. What I'll do is I will get on the plane before uh, before I cut the video off. Oh, it's gonna be an ass. You get every time you die, you get put back to the hospital, which is a bit Nancy, but. Come on. Come on. Wow, come on. Right, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll just get a car. Hopefully that's not police, no. And then what I'll do is I'll show you... Uh, I think it's like, no, that's not it, I think it's like here, along oh, this game as well you can like you modify your cars, it's the only game on the Grand Theft Auto Trilogy that you can actually fully modify your cars, like put wheels, exhausts, body kits, uh, spray paint, you can spray paint all of your cars really on every game but um, this one was really a full on you know customise your customise your car kind of game which is really good hopefully on GTA 5 it's what I don't understand with GTA 4 um, they downgraded in several ways like doing the cars, oh here I am doing the cars up and whatnot. it's a little bit of a uh, I didn't really understand it to be fair while I done that. Okay, so he just ran. It doesn't even need the car. Played there, CJ. So yeah, here I am. And this is just an easy way, just to you watch. I'll be up. Oh, there's a plane. I bet it'll be locked. Actually, I'll, I guarantee it'll be locked. Okay, maybe it's not. I've never flown on a. Oh, it's just the same. Uh, with this game, there was a lot of uh, different planes you could fly as well, like the Harrier jets and even a big Boeing 747. Uh, as for the game, it, it runs quick. It's not a laggy game of any sort or whatnot. It's it's not too bad. And, like you can even like try and be all bad man and do barrel rolls or a little loop to loop. This is where I'll like fuck up now, really. Yep. Oh, it doesn't even want to do a barrel roll. So. That's that. But I'll do a little bit of flying around. I'm sorry I'm only going to be able to do like the first. The first island. Because um, obviously I haven't unlocked. What I'll do is I'll actually try and show you like what happens when you get over to the second island. Um, obviously you unlock islands the more further you get into the game uh, and as you see here you got the trees coming I can guarantee now I'll smash into one of them because what I do to do is I like to just randomly appear so if I smash into one I'll just cut the video off not without saying bye though because that would be extremely rude I keep wanting to press X thinking I'm on GTA 4 with a helicopter and whatnot, but Stupid eye bomber. Do, 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 do. But yeah. And as you can see, there's the third island right in front of us. I should get loads of stars. And if I do. Oh. Four. Our four is not too bad. I think I can survive on four just flying around. No, I'm not. I've realised I've got the Harrier jet, so. Uh, yeah, but here's like the casino area, like is where the casinos are. Oh, how the fuck that did not get me. See how far I can get before I get rogered hard. See on the map, on the uh, map thing at the bottom, the little red. 
cross thing. No, just ignore me. I think that the casino there on the left, the little steakhouse, was my favourite um, favourite casino that I used to go to. But I'll show you the aeroplane graveyard as well. Uh, it's Barbara's favourite thing, the coach. Barbara loves coaches. I'm actually quite surprised, believe it or not. I thought, oh shit. Oh, is it going to be coming back for me? No, it's not. Dench. And here's a. Whoa. And you could believe it or not, uh, you could have this as a, a place to live. I'll try and land this bad boy. No, this is it. Oh no, I'm surviving. Right, I'm gonna stop fanny about. Whoa, I'm gonna stop fannying about now and get a bit of speed up. Uh, here's the dam. All of these little things here, you'll come across them during missions. And if you like me, you just like to drive around sometimes and not do anything. And oh, dodge it. Oh, it's hit me. I actually flew directly into it. Mayday, mayday. Can I make it over to the second island just to show you and make it one of Grand Theft Auto's closest? If I don't, it's just basically this is just more the city kind of map, a bit like GTA 4. It's more, oh, I'm going to die now, so no, I'm not. My dodo is really not liking this. This is basically more uh, the city that you do a lot of missions on. There. I remember, I think this is the island you do most of the missions on. I'm going to see if I can land it on. Not a chance. Oh, I'm dead. So, guys, this is. <laughs> this is a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. A uh, bit of gameplay. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't the best, and the commentary is pretty naff. But I just wanted to play a game with you. A lot of one of my all-time favourites. But I had this on a PS2. But definitely a good game just to have in the collection to um, play around with on the odd occasion. But thanks for watching. Slap this bitch up. Whoa, where's he running off to? I don't agree on woman violence, but she had P, so I'm going to steal it. That gave me the whole of $194. Whoa, limo. But yeah, I think I'll round this off to 20 minutes, so I've got like two minutes now. Um, but yeah, 2005, really good game. I'm going to get Vice City done. Uh, I'm going to get Liberty City Stories. Uh, I think my PS2 actually works fine. I've got the slim one, and I've recently just opened it up, gave it a good clean, and... Done a lean, like lens clean on it, and so it works fine, good condition. So I'm gonna start getting a lot of PS2 games, but I like the game. The graphics obviously are pretty shocking compared to you know GTA 4 and GTA 5, but back in 2005 this was the bollocks, the absolute bollocks, and it still is kind of the bollocks. It is the bollocks of a game, but. I think on this one there's a lot more different things to drive and fly and float and sail and and this is how good I am at driving. Oh, come on, roll yourself. No, I'm fucked. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go now. But any questions about GTA or where you can get it from, like I got this from Amazon for like £2, I think. Um, but rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, give us a little um, comment in the box down below and uh, look out for more game vids and unboxings but thanks for watching cheers for now guys bye